Question number nine. It says the diagram shows four straight lines A, B, C and D. As you can see, most of them are slanted lines with the exception of line B, which is a vertical line straight down. It says, which line has the equation y equals x? Circle A, B, C or D. Well, rather than diving straight in there, let's think about what y equals x means. y equals x basically means a list of coordinates, where the y coordinate equals the x coordinate. So let's start writing down some coordinates. Well, the first number in any coordinate is the x coordinate, because that's how far along the x axis that you go. The second number is the y coordinate, so that's how far up the y axis you go. So coordinates where both of these numbers are equal would be things like 0, 0, 0 along, 0 up. We could have 1 along, 1 up. We could have 2 along, 2 up. We could have 3 along, 3 up. 4 along, 4 up. And you get the idea. This is when the y coordinate is equal to the x coordinate. So if we plot some of those coordinates, we've got 0, 0, which would be there. 1 across, 1 up would be there. 2 across 2 up would be there, 3 across 3 up would be there. Now at this point in time it's a pretty safe bet, we've got 4 coordinates on line D. So it looks as though Y equals X is line D. Because all the coordinates where Y is equal to X line on line D. Just as a further check we could put this coordinate up here, and this coordinate is 8 across 8 up, which he's also got X and Y both being the same. So it's got to be line D. Let's choose a different colour for the second part of the question. It then says which line has the equation X equals 4? Well, again, let's do some X and Y coordinates. Well, the X coordinate has got to equal 4. So if we're setting up a series of coordinates... The x coordinate every time has got to equal 4. So this is going to be 4, this is going to be 4, this is going to be 4, and this is going to be 4. The y coordinate can be anything. So we could have 4 across 0 up, 4 across 1 up, 4 across 2 up. We could even have 4 across 8 up. But the x coordinate, the first bit of the coordinate has got to be 4. So let's plot those and see what we get. 4 across nothing up, 4 across nothing up is there. 4 across 1 up is here, 4 across 2 up is here, and 4 across 8 up is all the way at the top there, which is there. Now, all four of those points lie on line B. There's line B. So the answer to the second part of the question is line B. The final part of the question says draw a horizontal straight line through the point 4, 4, and write its equation. Well, let's go back to the graph and mark on 4, 4. Well, 4 across 4 up would be there, and it asked us to draw a horizontal line. So a horizontal line is this one. Now we need to give the equation of this line. So let's write down some coordinates on this line. We only need to really pick three coordinates. Well, we could have this one, this one, and this one. So if we write them down, so we've got x comma y. It's just a general formula for any coordinate. This first one is 1 across 4 up. The second one here is 3 across 4 up. And the final one is 6 across 4 up. Now the question is, what do we notice? Well, the x coordinates are different, but the y coordinates are always 4. y is always 4. And if y is always 4, the name of the equation of the line is y equals 4. And that's the best thing you can do explain the equation of that line. The y coordinate is always 4, 
Therefore, the name of the line is y equals 4. But the best advice I can give you for this entire question is to think about coordinates. Think about what the rule means in terms of its coordinates, and it will help you answer the questions.